Hello everyone, welcome to the daily newspaper analysis brought by Shanghai IS Academy. Today, 26th October 2024. Displayed here are the articles that we are going to discuss. The first article: Over 84 lakh workers erased from Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme rolls in six months. Report. This article is taken from the newspaper The Hindu. The second article: ISRO DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology, signed agreement to conduct te- conduct biotechnology experiments in space station, that is Bharati Andrish. station and exclusive space station for india that is expected to be between 2028 35 that time the isro and uh, department of biotechnology will collaborate to conduct uh, biotechnology experiments in that space station this article is taken from the newspaper the hindu the third article from sudha to tony a seed of life for the great indian bus star this article is taken from the indian express this article is discussing certain efforts to protect the critically endangered great indian bus start through artificial insemination so without much delay let's get into our first article look at this newspaper article taken from indian express from sudha to tony a seed of life for great indian bus starts this article is discussing certain efforts to save discussing the efforts to save great indian bus starts the critically endangered species of birds in the western part of india through artificial insemination so in this background let us discuss more about the facts more about the great indian bus starts in this background Now we will start with the basic facts of the Great Indian Bus Starts. The scientific name of this Great Indian Bus Starts is Aridetus nigriceps. They are known for their appearance because they are large birds with the long necks and legs. And uh, males in the Great Indian Bus Starts are known for their white body and black cap on their heads. And uh, the weight of the male will be always higher than the females. That is another point. And the inhabitation of the Great Indian Bus Starts they particularly belongs to the dry grasslands and the semi-arid regions. in india they are inhabiting in the western part especially in the state of rajasthan and they are also inhabiting in certain parts of pakistan and coming to the diet pattern they are omnivorous therefore they will consume both plants and animals they feeds on insects small rodents seeds and grasses and this great indian bus starts are known for their reproductive behavior they are known for their low reproductive behavior because the reproductive time of the great indian bus starts are limited to specific periods in a year now we are going to see the ecosystem role or the the role of great indian bus starts in the ecosystem management they are the indicators of a healthy grassland like i said they are inhabiting in the semi arid especially in the grassland regions therefore if there is a good population of great indian bus starts then we can assume that the grassland ecosystem of that region is relatively healthy and they maintains the balance of ecosystem through controlling the pest and dispersing seeds therefore through this mechanism they support the biodiversity in the grassland and they also play an important role in conservation because they inhabits in the northwestern part of india this part is known for desert but through dispersing the seed through controlling the pest they protect the communities from the impact of desertification so therefore they have a mutualism kind of relationship with the, the with the ecosystem they are inhabiting and the great indian bus star also act as a cultural symbol especially to the state of rajasthan they in the state of rajasthan they are considered as symbol of natural heritage therefore it encourages a community based conservation strategy to protect the great indian bus stars okay now we are going to see the protection status of the great indian bus stars first is iucn red list they are we know that iucn international union for conservation of nature and they included the great indian bus star in the critically endangered category which is a second highest risk category and the studies found that the population of the great indian bus stars got reduced to 150 individuals and the next is cites that is convention of international trade in endangered endangered species of wild flora and fauna they included the great indian bus, bus stars in the category of appendix 1 which restricts international trade of the great indian bus stars but except certain circumstances and uh, then we have the wildlife conservation act 1972 the wildlife conservation act 1972 placed the great indian bus star in the schedule 1 which uh, restricts the hunting and poaching of this bird species if someone is hunting this birds then they are subjected to severe penalties and punishment in this topic we discussed the basic facts related to the great indian bus starts its role in ecosystem management and its importance and also the protection status of the great indian bus starts so try to answer this prelims practice question with this idea the question is with reference to great indian bus star consider the following statements statement 1 the great indian bus starts is enlisted as critically endangered on the iucn red list statement 2 it is primarily found in the mangrove forest of sundarbans statement 
The species is protected under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972 in India. Which of the following statements given above is or are correct? Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 1 and 3 only. Option C, 2 and 3 only. And option D, 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option B, 1 and 3 only. Let's see why the statement 2 is incorrect. Because we already discussed the date eater bird stars inhabits in the grasslands. Mangrove is entirely a different ecosystem. So, therefore, the statement 2 is absolutely wrong. With this, we are coming to the conclusion on this topic. Let us move to the next topic. Look at this newspaper article taken from the Hindu. Over 84 lakh workers raised from Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme rolls in 6 months. This newspaper article is discussing a study by the Liptak, which found that between April and September, 84.8 .8 lakh workers registered under MG Narega scheme found their names deleted. But at the same time, 45.4 lakh new workers were added to the list. So, we know that recently the MG Narega is going through a lot of ch uh, changes, particularly the mandatory Aadhaar based payment system and all. This caused ineligibility to many workers and their names auto got deleted automatically. So, let us discuss more about the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme in this background. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. This scheme ensures the right to work, particularly to the particularly to the rural community. And this idea was first proposed by P. V. Narasim Harau in the year 1991. But later, in 2005, the scheme was initiated under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. And in 2006, it was implemented in nearly 600 plus Indian districts. And later, in 2008, it covered almost every districts in India. The objective of the scheme is to ensure livelihood security in the rural area. And the nature of the scheme, it is a centrally sponsored scheme where the funds are provided by the sender and a certain part of this fund will be provided by the state government. But at the same time, the implementation of the scheme will be overseen by the state governments. And the nodal ministry for the implementation of the scheme is Ministry of Rural Development. And like I said, the objective of this scheme is to provide livelihood by providing minimum work of 100 days in a year and this targets the unskilled manual labors in the rural area because we know that the skilled labors will be uh, more accessible to market jobs than the unskilled labor therefore the lack of skill is one of the major reasons behind the the rural backwardness therefore through through providing a minimum of 100 days job under the mg narega will ensure employment through the unskilled population in the rural area. What are the eligibility criteria to join the MG Narega? So, it is targeted to the rural household communities. It is targeted to the rural households and every adult from the rural household are eligible. If they are above 18, they are eligible for applying the applying employment under the MG Narega. And the nature of this job is voluntary. That means, the applying individual should be volunteer to work unskilled manual will be volunteer to do unskilled manual labor in the rural area and as per the recent reform Aadhaar is mandatory to register under the MG Narega because we know that they are looking for you know to ensure the financial inclusion a new reform was brought in the scheme that is the Aadhaar based payment system which provides wage through Aadhaar therefore the the workers under the MG Narega can access or they can access their wage through Aadhaar at any bank irrespective of in which bank they hold their account. And the person who is, who is willing to do the unskilled manual labor can register in the nearby Grama Panchayat. Now we are going to see the benefits of MG Narega. First benefit is income stability. We know that MG Narega will provide 100 days job and recent in the recent time per day they are getting 300 to 350 per day. So in the month they are earning in a month, they are earning over nearly 10,000 rupees. Therefore, it will ensure income stability for the 100 days. And second one is social security. Social security because the MG Narega particularly targets marginalized communities such as STs and SEs. And, and the third major benefit is gender empowerment because the one third population of the workers under the scheme are women. Therefore, this maintains a minimum participation of 33 percentage of women. And the next importance is sustainability increases because through providing income, through providing employment, through providing the social security and also through efforts under financial efforts to ensure financial inclusion, the MG Narega provides a sustainable development in the rural area and the workers are also participating in environmental activities. Therefore, in all aspects, the MG Narega will provide a sustainable path of development. And the next importance is financial inclusion. We know that 
as per the recent reform the mg narega is going for aadhar based payment therefore the workers can access wage and benefits from any bank irrespective in which bank they hold their account therefore it is a step to ensure financial in inclusion and the and the next benefit is skill development because the workers working under the mg narega will will receive skill training and skill development programs from the government and now we are going to see the impact of mg narega first one is impact economic impact through increased rural participation because this scheme provides opportunity for the unskilled labor force in the rural, rural area therefore they can also contribute to the economy and through that they can earn income and ensure their social and livelihood security the next impact is inclusive development because the mg narega scheme particularly contributed to the you know, reduction of poverty in the rural area through providing employment for the 100 days and at the same time it is also going for other efforts such as financial inclusion therefore through the mg narega has successfully through this efforts successfully ensuring inclusive growth through this efforts and the next impact is reduced migration because we know that the the poverty or the lack of income or other issues particularly during the time of non agriculture season is one of the major reasons for the rural to urban migration therefore through providing employment for the 100 days through providing a stable income the mg narega will reduce the rural to urban migration and the next uh, impact is durable infrastructure the unskilled manual labor in the rural area contributes to the development of infrastructure particularly renovation of pond uh, you know renovation of bridges and uh, and other basic facilities therefore through mg narega the rural area can ensure strong and durable infrastructure development so in this topic we discussed the basics about the mg narega so try to answer this prelims practice question among the following who are eligible to benefit from the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act this question was asked in upsc in the year 2020 2011 option a adult members of only the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe option b adult members of below poverty households option c adult members of households of all background communities option d adult members of any household statement 1 there is a high possibility of being wrong because the statement is a kind of extreme statement 2 adult members of below poverty households here also there is a specification therefore this statement will also go wrong option c adult members of households of all backward communities so there is no need for the specific mention but option d adult members of any household yes the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act is meant for the development of rural rural region in India therefore adult members of any household if they he is above 18 he can apply for the volunteer participation in the unskilled manual labor under the MG Narega scheme so let's see the answer yes the correct answer is option D adult members of any household so with this we will move to the next article look at this newspaper article taken from hindu isro dbt that is department of biotechnology sign agreement to conduct biotechnology experiments in space station this article is talking about an agreement between isro that is indian space research organization and department of biotechnology to conduct experiments in bhardiya andarik station bhardiya andarik station an exclusive space station for india which is expected to take shape from 2028 to 35 so that time we will conduct programs in the bhardiya space station under the collaboration of isro and the dbt so let us discuss more about this agreement and their focus in this background the major focus of this agreement is to study the impact of space conditions on the human health we know that space is entirely different from earth so if you notice the astronauts you can see that when they return to earth they will not be able to walk for some time so the space condition have that much impact on human health and the other area of research includes muscle loss using algae as food and fuel and impact of radiation on human health and some of these agreements were already conducted during the time of gaganyaan mission and what about this present collaboration the present collaboration between isro and the dbt is, is a part of bio e3 which is focusing on fostering bio manufacturing and also development of other sectors such as health pharmaceuticals regenerative medicine and waste management and according to dbt that is department of biotechnology india is expected to be a big economy worth of dollar 300 billion by 2030 and in that development the space based bio manufacturing will play a key role therefore this agreement will boost the india's economic growth in the upcoming time now we are going to study the purpose of bhardiya andarik station the primary objective is scientific research 
that is studying the microgravity effect on plant growth and the second objective is monitoring climate that is observing climate pattern climate change and natural disasters from space and the next objective is technology development that is to create better life supporting system for longer missions in the space and then we have international collaboration that is hosting global research experiments and research experiments in the Bharati Andariksh station and how long the astronauts can spend in the Bharati Andariksh station. We are expected to and as per the estimation, the astronauts can spend nearly 15 to 20 days on regular missions in the Bharati Andariksh station and, and this will provide opportunity like extended time to study the effect of microgravity on plant health as well as the impact of space condition on the human health and uh, this study also includes how the astronauts are interacting with the isolation in the space so you can see space is one of the regions which you will experience severe isolation and that will also impact your psychology also therefore this stay of 15 to 20 days will provide opportunity to study the psychological impact due to the isolation in the space so these are the focus areas of experiments in the bardia andrik station so with this understanding, let us try to answer a prelims practice question. The question is, what technology will be tested on Bharati Andarik station to support longer duration space missions? Option A, solar panel efficiency. Option B, life support systems. Option C, rocket propulsion. Option D, navigation systems. We already discussed the correct answer is option B, life supporting system. So, one of the objectives of the Bharati Andarik station is technological development to ensure a better life supporting system for longer experiments in the space. So, the correct answer is option B. So, with this we are coming to the conclusion for today's newspaper analysis. With this we are coming to the conclusion for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also give your feedbacks as comment and also share this content with your friends to make the competition more healthy and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel before leaving and also hit the bell icon to receive on-time update. Thank you. Have a nice day.